To make Unity look better for users, especially professionals like game studios and VFX studios, also VFX artists, which I think are more concerned about this topic of this video, Unity Technologies acquired Wara, hoping maybe to make Unity a major player in the VFX industry. This is the case because, I believe, they wanted to use their software and leverage Wara's expertise and technology. So, as a result, Unity gained access to Wara's advanced tools, technologies, and engineering talent. In fact, 275 engineers went to work for Unity in the new studio called Wara Facts with the intention of making these resources available to a wider range of creators. This acquisition, I think, was kind of seen in the mind of their leadership, which is not succeeding in any kind of way. I think it is kind of seen as a move to enhance Unity's capabilities in the realm of VFX, particularly with the rise of the metaverse, where both Unity and Epic Games are making some progress. But we can't talk about this without going over the acquisition details. I mean, what did Unity get after the acquisition of Wara, and what software and technologies they got? Unity's purchase included significant intellectual properties like Wara's path tracing renderer Manuka, the interactive renderer Gazebo, in addition to the simulation framework called Loki, and the grooming tool called Barbershop, which is now known as Wig. And these are some of the best in-house technologies Wara ever created. However, from what we have seen just last week, Unity plans to eliminate 265 jobs, which accounts for 3.8% of its global workforce. And this happened after ending the agreement with Wara. But the question is, why? Why leave all these amazing talented people and these technologies behind? The reduction in its workforce is a clear indication that Unity is undergoing significant changes I mean big changes. These layoffs can have various implications. From what I can see, the impact of such a decision is not just limited to the immediate loss of jobs. It also signals a possible change in the direction of the company's future, I mean future projects and priorities. And I think they feel like they have stretched themselves too thin because from just game development became involved in VFX, XR, ArcViz, engineering and more. And these changes are actually evident if you are following what is going on with the company lately. When it comes to the reasons for termination, according to Unity, or what Unity is saying to the public, they describe the termination of the agreement as part of the broader quote-unquote company reset. This reset includes closing offices in 14 locations and reducing office footprint in remaining locations. This decision follows a turbulent period for Unity, which I'm sure you have heard of maybe. If you don't know, it was marked by the controversial new runtime fee for its game engine Unity Engine, a fall in the share price, and the sudden retirement of its CEO, John Racatello. For me personally, it wasn't surprising. But what I wasn't expecting this to say the least. What I facts expressed that the change was unexpected but stated their intention to hire back as many of the laid-off staff as possible. They also noted that while Unity retains ownership of the technology acquired in 2021, it remains fully available to what facts, which will continue to build and extend the intellectual property. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive new videos like this about 3D software and CG news in general. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.